I don't get it. Is this guy a musician? Why is he always putting music videos up and then a knife video? It doesn't make sense. What's going on on this channel? And what's that doing? I don't know. Why am I here? Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. I can't stand intros. Hey everyone, I hope you're having a super fantastic day wherever you are. And I do mean that sincerely. All right, so you're looking at the new Benchmade Adamus. Uh, it's the slightly trimmed down version. And uh, I created a ton of controversy on my channel, totally unintentional. Of course, I, I'm not looking for publicity. I, I'm doing everything in my power to stay low and off the radar and all that good stuff. But anyway, so I took it out into the woods, as you probably already know. And yeah, it failed. So anyway, my logic was that the Omega Springs that come with the uh, brand new Adamus, the trimmed down Adamus. This is not the Mini, by the way. Um, my logic is that the Omega Springs, which... I ordered online. Um, I did reach out to a Benchmate at the very beginning. Uh, I've not heard from them, so I ordered a pair. We're going to find out if these are any thicker or stronger than the originals and uh, see if it makes any difference. Uh, this, these are probably the softest, the softest springs. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's what we're going to do in this video without causing any grief. Uh, I wanted to show you this Frogman. I've been wearing this the last few days. Really, really like this watch. Uh, extremely durable. Um, this is pretty much a go-to. I don't have to worry about the time. It sets on its own. Uh, I do like automatic watches as well, but uh, this is not a watch channel, but sometimes you guys always ask, hey, what, what was that watch? And this is the Frogman. This is, uh, I guess, a newer version. I, I, there's a newer version after this as well, but I think I'm going to I'm going to hold on this one. A lot of good things to say about that. So uh, we've got two Torxes, we've got a T6 and a T10. Okay, and this little device and the trusty SOG power pint. I'm going to use the power pint in this way. And also a little FYI, the video of my first impressions. It's like one of the most popular videos on my channel. It's totally gone ballistic. And uh, I think it's a good thing because this is really cool. I could probably just do a ton of videos on this alone. I've used it a lot lately. And by the way, it does work with the Leatherman Ratchet, if anybody was wondering. Okay, so I'm going to probably speed things up. I'm not going to bore you too much with this. I'm just going to take it apart and get it to the point. And we'll, uh, we'll keep talking in a bit, okay?
Okay, so there's the two washers. Put them aside. There's the Omega Springs. Looks like I've got the wrong size. Maybe. Hard to say. Oh well, if they're the wrong size, they're the wrong size. I didn't know they made Omega Springs bigger than the Adamas. Yeah, let's pop this one out. And there is a right one and a left one. It's my hope that the new ones are a little stiffer. And it looks like they are a little bit bigger. Now being a little bit bigger might be a good thing because that's going to give me a little bit more tension on the spring. Let's see if that makes the difference. While we're at it, let's try something. Uh, unfortunately the electronics are shot on this, but just for fun. Okay, so that's the thickness of the original. And let's bring in a new one. And it doesn't, that does go. It's tighter. It's definitely a little bit tighter than the original. So the gauge of the wire on the one I picked up online, yes, is just a little bit thicker, okay? So let's take that off of the table. We already know that the originals are thinner. Let's put them aside. Oh, I do believe, yeah. And you can see that they're different, slightly different. In the radius you see that the one on the bottom is the one I got online it's a little bit bigger radius so that's going to give me a little bit more tension in theory right and it's a thicker gauge metal so let's see where this goes let's uh, find out which one is the right one I think this is the right one here Not sure I'm going to make this uh, less than 15. I'm going to try. <coughs> so that's both springs installed. And it looks like they're installed correctly. Just in case you've never seen this before. Okay, so let's put this bad boy back together and see if this um, makes a difference. Hmm. Could be very challenging putting this back together behind the camera. Uh, I'm gonna tune it off for a little bit. Okay, so I'm back. I put this all back together again. I tried to spare you as much grief as possible. I did determine out what the problem is with, it's actually what the problem was. The good news is I fixed the problem. 
Okay, so basically the problem that I was having, why the spine whacking uh, was so soft, why it was always disengaging, never had that problem with any other of the Benchmades except for this one. For whatever reason, and it's not the spring, uh, the spring is not the problem. I'm trying to get you in the best I can. Maybe some light. Okay, I think this is going to probably be the best way to illustrate it. Uh, you can see the slot. You see there's a space between the slot on the black liner and the, uh, the pivot. Or not the pivot, but the... Um, Oh, I don't know. Let's call that the uh, the thumb. Oh, I don't know. What is that called? The axis pin. Okay, you see that space? Okay, so the more space, the less friction on the blade. And basically, it's just a break-in period. So this is kind of how I helped it along. I set... The knife like this. Now I want this pin, I want the lock, the axis lock to engage farther that way. So it doesn't matter how strong the pin is, if there's too much friction between the, the pin and the blade face or the tang, it's not getting a full seat. So it's just a little adjustment and all I did was just kind of tapped Tap the pin forward a little bit, very lightly. By doing that, I create a little bit of friction. It should stick a little bit, and it does. It sticks just a tiny bit now when I do that. And by doing that just a couple of times, I managed to get a good seat. And of course, um, when you flick it open harder, it's pushing the blade up, which is putting more pressure on the pin, which is bringing the seat of the blade down, right? It's going clockwise, which allows the uh, axis lock to engage more on the blade. So it's kind of like a break-in period type thing. And you can see I'm starting to move it forward. And now I'm getting more pin on the blade. See that? And how did I know that I had room to play with? Well, is when I closed it, the pin goes right up against the slot on the liner. So I think I've solved the problem. rock solid now so I've gained confidence again with this knife and I know a lot of comments that came in I'm going to conclude this video here a lot of comments came in that you should never baton and uh, you know I, I fully agree but if you look at my videos and you see what I do I'm not beating on this knife uh, it should be able to withstand what I did in my humble opinion okay um, hard use tactical folder. I don't want to go down that road again. But anyways, I think that's the problem. I didn't have the problem with the original Adamus, but this new crew wear one, that's the issue. So it could have something to do with this coating. I don't know. But uh, I'm back in love with the Adamus, or this particular Adamus. I like the original as well. Um... I think that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped someone along the way, someone, somewhere, uh, someone along the way, I guess. So now I got two extra uh, Omega Springs, which is fine because uh, I have another Adamus and if anything should happen to the Omega Springs, I'm good to go. We're back into the vault. Everything is good. How are we in the centering? Yeah, I probably need to do a little bit of adjustment. Oh, not much. It's not that far off. I could probably live with that. That's actually not that bad. Okay. 
And for those of you who didn't know I'm a musician, well, surprise, surprise. See you soon. Bye for now.